In this illustration, we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the Abacus software and strength of materials and compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the strength of materials subsequently. In this example, a thousand newton force will be applied to the middle of the beam. The length of the beam is one meter and the cross section of the beam is one square with a side equal to 0 0.02 meters. Meanwhile, the beam is made of steel. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create a geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D, then deformable via and planner enter approximate size equal to 5 and continue. I will draw a horizontal line. As you observe in this picture, the beam is 1 meter in length. Done. I will enter property module, click on create material. I intend to define the properties of steel. I will click on a mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus of steel is equal to 200 gigapascal. I will enter Young modulus equal to 200 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on create section, then select beam and beam again, continue, click on create beam profile, here select rectangular and continue. The cross section of the beam is one square with a side size equal to 0 0.02 meters. Okay and OK. I will click on Assign section, select the beam, Done and OK. In the next step, I will click on Assign beam orientation, select the beam, Done, press on Enter button and OK. I will enter assembly module, click on create instance and OK. In the next step, I'll enter step module, click on create step. Here select static general continue. Time period is equal to one second. Here, since this problem is linear by nature, I will select off option. OK. In the next step, I'll enter load module, click on create boundary condition select initial step then displacement rotation and continue i will select both ends of the beam done as you observe in this picture the two ends of the beam are quite fixed so i will close all boundary conditions of displacement for them in the next step i'll enter part module here we should create one partition at the center of the beam I will click on Tools menu, select Partition, then Edge, and after that, select Midpoint Datum Point. Select this point and then click on Create Partition. I will enter Load module again. Click on Create Load. Select Concentrated Force and continue. I will select this point. Done. As you observe in this picture, a concentrated force as much as uh, 1000 newton will be applied to the middle of the beam. In the next step, I will enter mesh module. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.01 meters and OK. Then I click on mesh part and yes. In the next step, I'll enter step module. 
click on tools menu then set and create i will name this set deflection continue select this point that is exactly at the center of the beam and done i will click on create history output continue here select set and then deflection here we intend to calculate deflection of displacement of the middle of the beam so here i will select u2 or the same vertical displacement I will enter job module here. I will save the model. I will click on create job. Continue. The analysis was done successfully, so I'll click on Result. Here, you can observe the deflection of the beam. As it's quite clear in this picture, maximum deflection of the beam occurs in the middle of the beam and it can be seen with blue color. Here we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the strength of materials. As you observe in this picture, this problem has been solved utilizing the strength of materials formulae. To solve this problem, first we should draw the free diagram of the beam, meaning that we should draw all the forces and moments. Here, FA, FB, MA and MB are reaction forces and reaction moments. Here, first we should write the moment formula. Then we should get the integral of this formula twice, and then solve the equations using the boundary conditions. Here, once the integral has been gotten of the moment formula, and after that the quantity of C1 has been obtained using the initial boundary conditions, and the quantity of c1 is equal to zero in the next step the integral has been got once again and then the quantity of c2 has been obtained using the boundary conditions and its quantity is equal to zero on the right hand the moment formula has been repeated then its integral has been gotten has been got twice after that these equations have been solved utilizing the boundary conditions. As you know, theta 1 is equal to theta 2 at x is equal to L on 2. And using this main point, we can obtain the quantity of MA that is equal to PL on 8. In the next step, mx formula is obtained, and if we get the integral of mx formula twice, we will be able to calculate the quantity of deflection. Eventually, if we simplify the relations, we will get this formula and we can calculate deflection of the beam. P is the concentrated force that is equal to 1000 Newton. L is the length of beam. E is the young modulus of steel that is equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 Pascal. And I stands for second moment of area, the formula of which can be observed here. Finally, the maximum deflection of the beam will be obtained as 0 0.00953 meters. And this 
amount has actually been obtained from the strength of materials formulae. Here, we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the Abacus software. So, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output and Continue. Here, I will select Deflection and click on Save As. Here, the maximum deflection obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 0.0019625 meters. As it can be observed, the results obtained from the Abacus software are quite similar to those of the strength of materials, and these results are precise and correct. Here you can observe the maximum deflection of the beam in blue color, the quantity of which is equal to 1.962 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3 meters.